We can vlog. New routine, guys. These are so big. Blueberry lemon. Mmm. Blueberry crumble cake cookie. That one I was the least excited for. It tastes like a blueberry muffin. It's really good because it's not super sweet. Mm -hmm. Oreo. This thing is so big. Like, look at it next to my head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it tastes like an Oreo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. I got this lot of time syrup. Waffle. Is that actual butter on top? It's like a it's a buttercream frosting, right? I think so. This one oh is my gosh, really good. so cute. guys it's about to be seven o'clock and last minute decision to run to the grocery store oh shoot okay i do have a mask i'm heading to the store because i'm gonna get some hot dogs we just like last minute dogs it just sounds really good um we were kind of vibing i finished my diamond dog we were listening to a bunch of like fun older music and like dancing um, i had a cocktail i promise i'm okay to drive it was one cocktail i had it like two hours ago i'm good but zachary decided he's gonna play his video games his pc games so i figured i would just go pick up some hot dogs for dinner and then we have fun plans tomorrow okay you guys have to hear me out on this I'm sorry that I'm talking a lot but my parents um, obviously raised me so I grew up in a very much no alcohol no drugs household which I think everyone grew up in a no drugs households but like no alcohol household my parents were just very much not into drinking at all it was like not their thing and I also grew up like going to church and being religious so it was just like not something I was ever around so I never started drinking until I moved out of the house and was like really 22 like I had a couple of drinks at 21 but really 22 was when I started getting into it it's been so fun being able to like introduce that kind of stuff to my parents because I'm not like a crazy drinker by any means I don't plan on being but I'm definitely like a social drinker drinking to like have fun on the weekends never a middle of the week drink that's just like not who I am if you are no judgment girl wish I could be you sometimes but I just definitely save it for the weekends with all that being said a couple weekends ago I brought over a bottle of wine to my parents parents house and they both had a glass and actually really enjoyed it which was so like fun I don't know it's like so cool to become an adult and see your parents like become more friends to you than parents I think it's so cool so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can find some juice and some champagne so we can do mimosas with them tomorrow because we're gonna be going to their pool just me and Zachary with my parents and just like hanging out gonna be doing dinner over there so I thought it would be fun to like bring mimosas and have them try that because they've never had mimosas um also i'm like so like rosy and freckled because i've been laying out the last two days for like 30 to 45 minutes and i've been loving it but i'm gonna head out to the store i just wanted to give you guys a little heads up catch up a little bit i feel like it's been a minute since i've talked to the camera but yeah on the way to the store so don't make fun of me, but I've never bought champagne before. I've only been given champagne and had it at restaurants and such. So <laughs> I could not find it. I was walking up and down the aisles and I knew it was going to be in one of like the wine aisles, but I could not find it. So I looked on the Smith's app, found literally one brand that they had. So I was like, okay, I guess that's my only option. Finally found it. It is a massive bottle. <laughs> I'm hoping it's good because I've never had this brand and I've had bad champagne and bad champagne is so not good. But this looks like it might be good because it says has crisp fruit flavors of apple and pear. I'm hoping it's good. I'm not an orange juice gal by any means. So when I like a mimosa, it's always with like a fun fruit like peach or strawberry, anything other than orange juice. So I got peach juice. And then I just got hot dog buns and hot dogs, which is like not exciting but i got all beef hot dogs made with wisconsin cheddar so they're supposed to have cheese in them which actually sounds so good and fun that's your grocery haul for you that's all i got <laughs> and now to drive home let's vote will there be a good song on the radio when we turn it on yes or no the low breezy at times couple of gusts and add so I made her cry for me. Every night she had tears in her eyes. Okay, bye. 
back home and I thought I would show you my cocktail, which is now <laughs> iceless. It took me a minute to get to the store, but just in case you're wondering, I use Tuttle One Citroen Vodka. Ignore the Jordan on there. This bottle of vodka is years old. When I say years, I mean years. This was from a party we had back in our first apartment. One of our friends, Jordan, came and she just wrote her name on every bottle that we had. We still have this one and one more from that party that have her name on it. So anyway, the Kettle One Citroen Vodka is really good. It's like a lemon flavored vodka. So I pour that in. I don't measure. Add a couple ice cubes and then I pour in some lemon lime Zevia, which is one of my sugar-free sodas you guys have seen that in previous videos and then i squeeze off um some lemon juice so it's very good you can taste the vodka but like not in a bad way yeah i'm gonna cook some dinner and by cook some dinner i mean literally hot dogs hi <laughs> i showered shaved exfoliated i'm in my bed it's like nine o'clock yeah 9 15. i'm kind of settling in for the night i'm currently watching mia maples on my phone love her to death i'm about to take my cbd gummies zachary and i have started getting back into reading i go through phases where like i'm in reading and then i like kind of get out of it and quit reading for a while but zachary like jumped in like feet first just straight into reading we both um downloaded the kindle app i don't know if you can see this it's like all oh, there you go um and we've started reading we both have library cards and we have kindle through our amazon prime and we have our ipads and so we've been reading every night and zachary's read like two three he's read three books already just this week because he reads at work i'm like oh my gosh that's insane i'm 67 percent of the way through with my first book but i only read it at night because it makes me really sleepy yeah on our reading wave really enjoying it i'm gonna start getting into more like um learning educational type of books because right now i'm just reading like romance books and whatever like little silly books that are just for strictly enjoyment but i want to get into more like educational books political books stuff like that like we read sort of read together the blackout book by candace owens that was a really really good read and so i really want to kind of like get more into stuff like that so it's not only enjoyable but educational and yeah so i'm gonna sit in bed and read and i'll see you guys in the morning holy cow you guys hi it's tuesday this was supposed to be a weekend vlog and i did everything but vlog this weekend <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. I don't know what happened I normally finish my vlog on Sundays and then get it edited and get it out on Monday and that did not happen We had the best Sunday though. I wish I would have vlogged but I didn't our friend Brie came over We did mimosas and we were drinking mimosas from 11 a.m. To 6 p.m. <laughs> the camera never came out. It was so fun though But I mean, yeah, that's basically all you miss. We went to my parents on Saturday went to the pool I think I vlogged a little bit of that. I'll have to see what I look at the footage but it's now Tuesday I'm gonna chat with you guys for a little bit because I have some stuff I want to update you on first of all this is so funny watch this it shouldn't have been that simple <laughs> this handle on our fridge one day just decided it's gonna start coming off really easily so at least once a day when I open the fridge door, handle just comes right off. And initially I was like, okay, I'm the Hulk. How did I do that? No, it's just broken. I don't know what happened. Also, I haven't given a Diamond Dots update in quite some time. So I wanna show you guys. The addiction is still going strong. I'm the kind of gal who gets addicted to some kind of project or something for like three weeks and then I'm over it. And I really thought that's what I would do with these Diamond Dots but that's not what has happened. I actually finished two now. This is Zachary's that he is still working on. Cute. And I'm gonna grab mine. Okay, sorry the light is like kind of weird in here. I don't really know how to make it better, but this is another one that Zachary did that is finished. 
And then I did this one. This was my first one. It's so cute. And then this is the one I just recently finished. So our four pack from Nightmare Before Christmas is almost done. Then we were like, okay, like we're done with those. We need to buy some more. And I only want to stick with like holiday themed ones because I don't want to have these hanging up year round. It's just like not my style. I feel like they're kind of cheesy, but they're cute for holidays. So we ordered a really big fall one. There's like fall leaves and pumpkins and stuff in it, which I can't show you because it's in the box, but it's really big. We got a four pack of like winter Christmas ones. So there's this one with like the little house. They're all like a white Christmas vibe. I don't know if that's like a house or a church or whatever, but super cute. And then there's this one with the deer. I love these. These are going to be so cute. And then this one, another little house. They're all like very similar, but like a little bit different. And I just think they're gonna be so pretty to hang up during Christmas, especially the Christmas ones because we'll have like the Christmas lights on. And I think putting these behind like the Christmas tree and having the light reflect off of the diamonds will be so pretty. So diamond dot obsession is still going strong. Other than that, there's not much new. I actually got some new jewelry and i will show you i got this little necklace with like little cute little balls on it so it's like a basic chain but adds a little bit something more i got of course my mother's day bracelet that my mom and i both have she has the silver i have the gold i talked about that before mine says daughter the best within you is the best within me and then this anklet, it's like a thick chunky chain. The necklace and the anklet came from the same place and I was so excited to get them and I was so excited to tell you guys about the company. I had a discount code set up, like I had the whole thing prepared, but I've decided against sharing the company name or the brand or anything like that because they're not a great company to work for. It gave me the product for free and just made me pay for shipping, which was still $30, which I feel like is kind of a lot for two little tiny pieces of jewelry. They told me to pick three items from the site, which I did. They only sent me two. It took over a month for them to actually deliver to me. The address was wrong. I tried to email them about the address, never got a response. When I asked about the shipping time, I got like a rude attitude response back. Um, and then the package showed up. I only had two of my three items. So I'm not gonna recommend them and I'm sad because the jewelry is really cute. And I'm still gonna wear it because I paid $30 shipping, so I'm gonna wear the product. And PS, before I go I've decided I'm gonna grow my hair back out <laughs> I am I think every girl is like this maybe I'm just crazy but I feel like it's common I can never make up my mind when my hair is short I want it to be long when it's long I want it to be short and then I'll go and look back at old pictures and I'm like oh my god my hair looks so cute like this which is what happened this morning I was looking through old pictures and I was like what my long hair was so pretty so I think I'm going to grow it out I think that's what I'm gonna do, especially because when it's like long and grown out, I don't have to do it every day. I feel like when it's this length, I have to do something to it or it just ends up in a ponytail and it's not very cute in a short ponytail. Anyway, I'm blabbering. Unfortunately, I didn't vlog much this weekend. I'm so sorry. I'm usually better. You guys know that. <laughs> so this was just an off weekend, but it was such a fun time. And sometimes it's nice to like not film everything that I'm doing, but I really had the best weekend and i hope you guys got at least a little glimpse of it through what i did film but i'm gonna end the vlog thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already that'll be like the best way for you to keep up with me and my life and my videos so you can subscribe give this video a thumbs up and then you can also find me on tiktok instagram i have those linked down below but yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye